Hi, uh, my name is Jihad Gabra. I'm the product line manager for the EPMP product line. Today we're going to talk about the EP, EPMP 4600 giga, uh, gigahertz connectorized radio. This is an access point uh, that operates in the 6 gigahertz ba uh, band. Uh, as an accessory to this, we also came up with the 6 gigahertz sectorized antenna. And this is a product that you see on the uh, on the left hand side. The package content for the EPMP 4600 is the actual radio, the set of flanges right here, and uh, and you have one that one of them comes already with a plug. The other one comes with a seal, but it's kind of open in the middle for the cable in it. And this is to use a. Uh, an Ethernet cable, while this is uh, this is used to for for SFP. So if you are using SFP, you would actually take the plug out and insert this one right here, so that you seal it in, and you open that up using the open. Including also in this package is a US uh, is a is an SMA GPS puck with a magnetic puck that will actually attach to a, to a pole, just like that. We have a, a PoE uh, power supply, and of course is a power, power key. This is really for the contents of the 4600. For the contents of the actual 4x4 sector antenna, this is, as I said, it is a sector antenna that will, that will support 6 gig. It comes with the RF cable, the SMA RF cables that will, will connect to the radio. There's uh, four screws right here, and there's some additional accessories. And it comes with this packet right here. This is, this is the brackets of the, uh, that are attached to the second antenna to allow you to install this to a pole. So we're going to go ahead and start the installation package of both of these units together as they go along together. So the first thing that we're gonna do is slide this out and just take it out of the way. Then the other thing is we're gonna loosen these nuts a little bit, then slide this out and also take it out of the way. We're gonna take our brackets out Just like that. And uh, the first thing is we're going to install this at the bottom. And how can you tell the bottom from the top? The bottom of this has a hole right here for the GPS cable. The top one is flat and there is no holes in it. So this is the top and this is the bottom. So I'm gonna take this, this bracket right here, it's a pole bracket, I'm gonna put it in. And of course, it takes two of these. Right here, we're gonna start them up. And then, we're gonna take This right here, you can see this is a tilt bracket, and there is kind of an arc on the top one, and the arc should be concave down. So we're gonna solve it just like that, and you put a couple of bolts right here to hold them tight. You should probably torque them. For the purpose of uh, of this, I will not talk them, but I will make sure that they're hand tied. So the next step is we're going to slide the GPS antenna in. 
gonna take this off right here and uh, I'm gonna use this there's a couple screws that is holding this and I can just be able to take that out and I take my GPS box right here and this is where the tricky part is as this has to go all the way has to be fished in all the way to the bottom so try to make the cable as straight as possible and just slide it in there you go Once it's in, I'm gonna take a look at this so you can see it. Bend the gable a little bit at the end so it sits straight. Just like that. And put our cover in where it's sitting. And that's it, you put these screws back. So now that the cable, the GPS cable has passed through the inside, I guess, cylinder of this antenna, we have the cable right here at the bottom. We have this chain that we need to install. So the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it from the front. So I have a good recording of it. And uh, I need the Phillips adapter, which is right here. So, This is the gizmo that comes in. We're gonna take the inside, I guess, inside red thing out. We're gonna insert the cable right here. Then, then we're gonna insert this, uh, I guess, gland or whatever. We're gonna push it in, in place. So we have to attach this chain to this knot right here. So at this point, the chain is in. We could turn it back this way to, for us to continue work. We're ready for the, for the radio. So we're gonna take the radio right here and we're gonna take our bracket, flip it around and install it this way with these pointing upwards and we got our four screws right here so we're just going to put them in okay the radio is done we're going to flip it around you know these are the four nuts that we loosened them in the beginning so we're just going to put them in Put the radio in and slide it down and then tighten these nuts again like we had them before and and that's it the next step is actually to connect our cables right here so we have four RF cables and on each end there are SMAs. So we're gonna start by taking these 
plastic things off. Slide this backward a little bit so you get access to the to the knot and put your first cable in. And then get your trusty torque wrench and torque piece. Slide back down your water protection sleeve and do this again to the to the other side. Notice I'm doing the middle first. Yeah try not to pull on the connector. You know hold the cable and pull the sleeve back. Don't hold the connector and pull the sleeve. You put in the water protection. So now we are ready to install this and it should slide right in. That's it right there. And we're ready for the brackets. So the brackets here come, we got uh, two for against the mounting pole and two that will come on the top side so we're gonna first put these in right here so we're gonna cut this guy so we have the balls So at this point in time, the actual 4x4 sector and the radio are, are connected and they are mounted together. So what's left over here, we're gonna take the GPS and we're gonna, we're gonna connect it to the radio, to the SMA. It's the first SMA coming out. It's the only SMA actually. And again, we're gonna torque it correctly. I think we're gonna take a look at these glands 
make sure this is the, the one that we're using. If you're using SFP, you're gonna use the other one, which is this sign right here. So this is the ethernet. And we're gonna insert this first, bottom down. And then we're gonna take, you see the, the ring around here, we're gonna insert it in, just like that. And then we're gonna take our top, <laughs> take our top, put it in, and and then we're gonna squeeze that seal into it, just like that. Screw it in, and this cable now is ready. Leave the first one is right here. So, and this is done. And then we're gonna take the second piece. This is the SRV piece. And since we're not using, it has the seal that is blocked right here at the bottom. So there is no water intrusion into the radio. So now the only the only thing left is you take your Ethernet cable. The other end you connect it to your PoE and the PoE goes to your AC power supply. This is really the end of this video. Thank you.